This month's Elf in the Room project, we're going to take this warehouse staircase, we're going to turn it into a meeting table for a merchant paper company. Pretty excited, I have no idea how to get this one done. Don't even know where to begin with this one. There's a lot of welding, a lot of cutting, a lot of powder coating. It's a totally different episode, so stay tuned and check out some of the other videos after this one's done. Alright, so just like every time we do an Elf in the Room project, I have no clue how we're going to do this. I have some ideas, but realistically, all I base every decision that we make on is what my client's needs are. So right now, these guys want a bar height meeting table somehow made out of this thing. So right now, I'm just going to figure out where bar height is and then see if I can kind of come up with a design that's going to leave the most of this thing intact. Like I'm not trying to cut the whole thing apart, I want to keep all the goodies in this bad boy. So. Right now, 42 inches, it's about here. 40 or 42 inches is your bar height. I think we're gonna kinda hit the 41 inch mark. My plan is, as I wanna keep, I wanna keep the base. The base has wheels, it's easy to move. These guys wanna be able to move this thing. So we keep the wheels on it, we cut it here. I wanna somehow take this and fold the rest of the staircase down this way, and then put a glass top on this thing that would kinda rest on every single one of these stair treads. How it's gonna work, if it's gonna work, not a clue yet. I don't even know, I'm just gonna start cutting things. Nothing like just starting to cut it apart. It's part of the fun. Get across there. Cut, cut, cut. There's somehow translated over there. I feel like we need to use the level, but the ground's not level. I feel like this is just gonna pass the eyeball test. I don't want to cut all the way through until it's laying down. <laughs> One cut, two cut. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this, look at, look, come here. Some of the hackery that happens. Look at this thing. I didn't do that, but I'm kind of impressed. I'm kind of amazed. What a great idea. This looks like it came from our shop already. <laughs> Let's see if that's off 42. It'll be as parallel as I possibly can. Ugh. I'm just trying to find reference points off anything that I know would be level. We're gonna be able to fine tune this whole thing later on anyways. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go, that's probably the best way to cut this thing. I got the cuts where I kinda know where I'm beginning with this. Now I'm already getting to the point where I have no idea what the next step is here. We're gonna take apart this thing. There's some nuts and bolts we can actually take apart and kind of, I guess, maneuver the thing a little bit more. I have no waste. I can't mess this up. This is like, I, I need every single square inch of these steps so to make this work or it's not going to look as cool as I think it's going to look. So, wish me luck on this. We're going to have to weld this. <laughs> All 
All right, so it's kind of hard to see, but this is going to be the front, and this post right here is going to bend. It's going to bend, and then this is going to be flat. It's going to be welded right to this, so this pipe is going to continue to this one, and we're going to drop this down so that these pipes here hit the bottom of this guy, and then this is the actual top. So this stairs right here, the actual top. We're going to get rid of these two treads right here, just to kind of make it look like the staircase went up, was bent. The glass is gonna sit right on the top of this part here. And what we're talking about right now is we're gonna take this whole top part off, cut it right here, make a bottom shelf for this little meeting table so we can put some product or anything down there. And then we're gonna reattach the bottom wheels to this part and just move up this axle. We don't need any su anything super heavy duty because this is just gonna have a piece of glass on it and this is gonna be a meeting table. This is not an industrial staircase no more. So we get to have fun with it and cut it apart. All right guys, thanks so much for watching the first part of this video. There is gonna be a second one coming up that is gonna be us putting this unit together. Please stay tuned for that one. That one will be, will be out in about, I don't know, a week or so after this one's been released. So stay tuned, check it out. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. I wanna show you guys real quick what we do here on the daily. These weird projects are only half of what we do. I don't even wanna say half. I wanna say it's like this much of what we do. I wanna show you guys a little, a little montage about the other things that we do. We do a lot of dining room tables. We do a lot of coffee tables and other pieces of furniture. We do not just build these crazy weird things. We build pretty much anything that you guys want. So I want you guys to reach out to me at michaelafazio.ca or hit us up on Instagram or Facebook and let us know what you guys are looking for. We wanna build you what you can't find. We wanna build you the thing, the little bit of character that you need for your space. We wanna build that for you. So send us a message. Send us an email, come check us out. If you wanna come check out the showroom, check us out at 1023 Droulard in Ford City. We wanna meet ya. See you later. Yeah, rolling. <laughs> <laughs>this myself in the room project we're going to take this portable stair what is this thing called portable staircase the rolling staircase just say staircase done okay <laughs>